can smell them. They can't be far from here. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I can smell you, vampire scum. Just where are you hiding? Hmm? <laughs> I can see the red glow of your eyes through the bush there. Get over here, you filthy bats. <laughs> I've got you now. Huh? You're... You're much smaller than I anticipated. Is this really the vicious and powerful vampire I was sent to hunt? Quickly, open your mouth. Hmm. Sure enough, two distinct fangs. Can't miss them. But you're just a child. <laughs> Oh, you aren't, are you? Hmm, I see. You're a pygmy vampire. Can't say I've run into one of those before. Must be a rare species. Well, aren't you gonna fight me? I'm holding you here quite easily. You aren't even struggling. You could at least put up a bit of a fight. Huh? Hey, look at me for a moment. What's the matter? You look so... so sad. Just... just do it. Just do what? No, I'm not going to kill you. Isn't that what I was sent here for? Well, yes, it was. But I refuse to do that. You don't even have shoes on. Your feet are all cut up and bruised. Come here. It's all right, little one. I know, I know. I'm going to carry you back to my cabin now. And we'll get you all fixed up, alright? <laughs> oh, they're finally waking up. You blacked out whilst I was carrying you back. I hope you don't mind. I've bandaged those feet of yours and cleaned the dirt from your face. I managed to find some of my childhood clothes that may fit you. They're in the spare room if you'd like to change so I can wash those clothes of yours. I seem to be quite dirty. Are you all right? What? Why didn't I kill you? Well, I've been a sellsword for the majority of my life. I've had many clients who've hired me for an array of different reasons. With most jobs, I know better than to ask questions. It's a part of the business. You stay in your lane, do the job, and get paid. Most people who hire me to do so for self-defense, a demon, arachnid, vampire, something of that nature had hurt someone close to them. So, they pay me to make sure that never happens again. This job wasn't like that, though. 
The man who hired me gave me little information. He claimed that there was a vampire in the nearby woods, and he wanted it dead. I suppose that vampire is you, and I imagine you know who paid me to find you. I thought so. Your former master. I was suspicious at the amount I was being paid for this job. It was far more than I had ever been paid for something like this. I knew there was something being left out of the story. I see the demi-human slave trade is still alive and well in this corrupt world. That's probably why I was being paid so handsomely. He thought I could be paid to kill you and cover it up, so no one knew what he had done. I'm not going to do that, though. I suppose I should take off this blasted mask. As you can see, I'm a demi-human too. That's why I'm so good at my job. Being a werewolf, this sniffer of mine, really comes in handy when tracking down targets. <laughs> Oh, was that your stomach growling? Here, I think I have some fruits in the fridge. Uh, oh. My apologies. I forgot your... You know, a vampire. Well then, would you like to feed on me? Please. I don't mind. You blacked out on the way here. You're clearly exhausted and need to get your energy back. I insist. <sighs> Let's just sit back here and... Is that good enough? I think I've revealed enough of my neck for you to get a good bite. Go on then. Don't be shy. <clears throat> no, no, you aren't hurting me. I've been through much worse than this. <clears throat> to tell you the truth, it, it doesn't feel so bad. I've never been bitten by a vampire before, but I've heard stories, and they always make it sound terrifying. But this is just... It's nice. A small pinch at first, and now just a soft, warm feeling, giving me goosebumps all over my body. Hmm. Oh? You're finished? Well, you didn't take too long. <laughs> I guess you are quite small. Pat, pat. <laughs> uh, sorry, I... <laughs> I didn't mean to be disrespectful. Is it all right if I pat your head? <laughs> Sorry for not asking first. You're just so adorable. Pat, pat. <laughs> well, little one, where do you want to go from here? You're finally free. Do you have a family or any friends to go home to? You don't. Hmm. Well, is there any place you would like me to take you to? <laughs> you like it here? Well, you can't... You know what? 
I suppose you can stay with me. If you'd like to, of course. Just until we find you a good home, okay? <laughs> well, I'll let you go take a bath now. And then afterwards, we'll get to sleep. I'm sure you're exhausted. There's towels in the cabinet and a change of clothes in the spare room, like I said. I'll be right out here whenever you need me.